So today we're looking at Quan Chi and Janet Cage, and these two characters together are a very solid team, albeit a little bit difficult to use, though Janet Cage is just incredibly strong and elevates every character. So it should be without a doubt that these two together are incredibly strong. So today we're just going to look at what we can do with these two and how they synergize and the setups and all these combos that I'll show later down in the video. So first and foremost, we gotta look at her assists. So the first assist of hers is Nut Punch and it is her neutral assist and it looks like that. It's a mid 23 frame startup, so not too slow, not too fast. And it gives you a ton of hit advantage, which is incredibly good. So having that much hit advantage basically means that your opponent is jailed into whatever you throw out next. They cannot crouch block either, which means they have to stand block a high so you can go into a 2-1-4, 2-1-3 low overhead mix, or you know, you could just do a 4-2-4, four, four. you could do whatever afterwards. Now what's also really good about having that much advantage is that you get a free setup on either any portal of yours, so you know, enhanced zone, uh, purple one, or zone of waste, or whatever, but what's really really good is your bone cage. So your bone cage has a 15 frame startup. So clearly that's a lot faster than 30 frames. So that is a guaranteed bone cage on your opponent, which is really, really good for Quan Chi. And what's even better is that this nut punch is a restand in air combos like that. So afterwards you have a lot better distance than you would typically have, because typically this is what the setup for bone cage is. You drop the combo purposely and they're right there next to you. They're about jump distance away so they can still jump out after they get caged and you have to react accordingly to what they do but if you go ahead and you do the nut punch you get a little more damage first and foremost but also you get more distance there's still jump distance away but you have more time to you know react and react accordingly compared to them being right here so that's just really good for Quan Chi you get more space because Quan Chi needs that space and because you're so far away, you know, you could start retreating a bit. Go ahead and put down a zone, a purple zone or a zone of fear, which is the green one. So that's just really good for Quan Chi. Now, another thing that's really good about this is the uh, block advantage because it's it's safe on block. It's completely safe. Minus six. I believe only Li Mei can punish that, which is really good for Quan Chi because typically Quan Chi is minus seven or he's minus eight on most of his strings. The only strings he's not like minus on is 1-2-2 two, two, because 1-2-2 two, two, he's zero on block. But everything else is going to be minus seven or maybe minus five, minus eight if you do the full 2-1-4-4 four, four, or you know back 3-4 as I showed is minus seven and everything else is minus seven or minus eight and his forward 2-1 is minus 13 and if you don't space that properly you get punished if they're right next to you. So if you want to you can always cancel all of your strings into a nut punch and you'll be safer than if you didn't, especially from forward two, because if you're if you think you're too close to the point where if you do the second follow-up hit, you'll get punished, you can just cancel into that, you're safe, and you're you're good. Now another really good thing to to do with nut punch is back three four, because everyone knows that or everyone you're gonna play against knows that back 3-4-2, that third hit whiffs on block. So they're gonna go, okay, it's my turn after he does back 3-4. And he's minus seven, so I'm gonna take my turn. So what you do is you special cancel into nut punch from back 3-4. So if they try to take their turn, you get a lot of advantage, you get a free bone cage on them. But if they hold block, you're completely safe. There's no penalty in trying. The only penalty is that you're spending cameo meter on it. That's it. But even then, Janet Cage has a pretty normal recharge speed. She's not super slow, which is really good. So you can just go ahead and throw that out and you're fine. So immediately, Nut Punch is incredibly good. But the next thing I want to talk about with Nut Punch is that it is a wake up reversal. So if someone knocks you down, you can go ahead and do that. But that is the caveat to it. Sometimes that's just the nature of cameo wake up reversals. They either work or they don't work. So sometimes it works, other times it doesn't. Right there we hit trade. Sometimes 
Sub-Zero will not hit you at all. It depends on what they throw out. But it's better for Quan Chi because Quan Chi has a notoriously bad wake-up reversal. His back forward four is just terrible. It's slow. It's very easy to armor break it as well because it's so slow. And of course, on block, minus 15, you eat a launcher and a full combo. People can also up block it. And on top of that, the tracking is god awful. I've had tons of matches where Quan Chi will go into his portal and he'll come out behind the opponent, in front of the opponent, just completely with. And, you know, you get punished for that. Sometimes it works out, but most of the time you get punished for it. So having a different option on wake up is just a lot better for Quan Chi because his wake up option is pretty bad. So that's nut punch. Very solid move. So her next assist is her up assist, and that is Ninja Mime. It is looks like this. It's active for 546 frames, so that's a pretty long time. And what it is, is a worse version of Zone of Fear, which of course is your green portal. Oops, there we go. So why is it a worse version? Well, one, Zone of Fear pushes your opponents around, and you can move Zone of Fear around. And your opponents cannot get through the Zone of Fear unless, you know, they have a fast forward moving special and they space it properly. Uh, Janet Cage's Ninja Mime is basically Zone of Fear, or well, it's just an obstacle. So your opponents cannot walk through her, but they can jump over her, and they can also hit her. And Janet can only take a total of four hits, as you can see here, two, three, four. And then she's knocked down, but she is not disabled, which is really good. See, as you can see there, I can call her back in. I could call her in to do another Ninja Mime if I really wanted to after she gets hit. But it's not a bad tool for Quan Chi just to, you know, create space. You put her out there for a bit, back up, you know, get your portals set up. And then now you have really good space control. Your opponents can't hit you because the um, Janet will take the projectiles as well. So she also acts as like an anti-zoning tool. So really, it's just not a bad tool for Quan Chi to have because Quan Chi loves having space. You want to be at full screen shooting your opponent and she allows you to do that very, very safely. And of course, if you really, really, really want to turtle up, you can throw out Janet Cage Ninja Mime and put down your zone of fear behind you. So let's say you're playing against Smoke or you're playing against like Raiden. Those guys have teleports and they come in behind you. Well, they can't get to you. They have to go through Janet Cage. They have to jump over her or get rid of her. So another thing that you can do with Janet Cage is that you can bait people. So Janet Cage can take a total of four hits, but if she's hit with an uppercut, she is immediately taken out. A down two will immediately knock her out. So what you can do is that if your opponent likes to go up to Janet Cage and, you know, hit her to take her out, you can always bait people into hit into whiffing. So if someone goes, if you think someone is going to go for a down two, you call her away and you can punish with like a back three, four, two and get a nice launcher that way. So you can really bait people with her, which is good. Like so, especially if they're very obvious with it, like they dash up, crouch, dash up, crouch, and they're right next to her. They're crouching and you can just call her away and hopefully they whiff and you can get a back three, four, two punish, which is really good for you. But that's pretty unlikely. But it is an idea. It is something you can do. It works relatively okay. I've had, you know, matches where uh, it just doesn't work at all. And I've had opponents where they constantly try to down two and they never learn. They whiff. And that's just pretty good for you. So, yeah. Just a lot of utility behind it. So, her last assist is her hop punch. And that is forward and back assist. It is an ambush, so you could call her at any time. And it looks like that. So, it's a combo extender. And this is a really good combo extender for Quan Chi because it turns all of your strings into a launcher. So the way it works is like, you know, you do like a down two. Let's just do this for example. Down two universal. And you call her out, she hop punches and you're able to continue from there. You can do like two hop punches afterwards like that. Or you can go ahead and go for three if you know your timing. Just like that. And then from there, especially with Quan Chi, you could go ahead and set up portals. You can go ahead and set up a bone cage afterwards. So you get really good setups from it and really good damage out of it. Because this is what a typical Quan Chi combo looks like without using any meter. 
it's only about 28%. So you don't even break 30%. But with Janet, you will almost always break 30% so long as you have one triple hop punch assist available. And this is what I mean by all of your strings become launchers now. Because she can cancel your low tentacle with a triple hop punch. If I can actually, you know, time it properly. Because the timing is a bit finicky. It's on hit, just like that. So you do a string, do low tentacle, call her out. And you could, you know, continue the string and then you get some really nice damage from there. So that is incredibly good for Quan Chi. No longer do you have to spend two bars to get good damage. You get 30% on the regular now, as long as you have one Janet Cage assist. And you get up to 40% if you got them in the corner or you, you know, choose to use all your resources, get close to 50%. So that is just a huge buff to Quan Chi's damage if you have this assist, this cameo. Because otherwise, how many times do you get to use Tentacle in a combo? At most, you know, it's just two times, but you have to spend meter for it. Now you can just do a regular one, and so long as you have a triple hop punch available, you can just, you know, do that. So her last assist is stunt double. It is her down assist, and this is the one that a lot of people are talking about, because it's really good. It's basically Sento, and if you press assist and your stance switch button, she will recharge cameo bar, and it's just incredibly strong. So, obviously, your opponents can hit her to take her out, just like this. And she's disabled, so you do have to protect her. But she makes hard-to-blockables happen. She gives you a lot of plus frames. There's some really cool block sequences as well. And another thing she does is, with Quan Chi in particular, is she gives really good space control. So the buttons for Janet Cage and this mode is... If you hold your uh, cameo button, she idles, which means whatever I press, she will not do. But if you let go, she'll start to move around with you. Whatever you press, she's going to do. And that is important for using Janet because she has a queuing system. So I'm going to press 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can see there, she's executing all of my commands right there that I inputted. And as you can see, every time she does a move, it eats at her cameo bar, which is why you need to, you know, refill it. But that is not too difficult to learn how to do. Basically, you press a button, you let go of assist, press a button again, press assist again, so she idles, press a button, and let go. So muscle memory will take care of that for you as you learn her. So we're going to go over all of the buttons she has while in her stunt double mode. So first and foremost, her one is just some high punches, classic MK. Her two is also the classic back punches from MK1 through 3. So the back punches are good for like juggling because she does have that upwards angle to them. High punches actually vacuum your opponent, which is pretty crazy, and I'll show that in a bit. Her four is a high kick. Her forward four is another high kick that ha um, launches your opponent like uh, to around mid-screen. And her back four is a true low sweep. Her three is a mid kick. And her forward three is her shadow kick. Though so this shadow kick is a high. And her forward one is force ball. Also a high projectile. So when it comes to using stunt double uh, with Quan Chi, I really don't think it's super strong on him in particular. Because Quan Chi likes being at full screen. You know, rarely you'll ever be right up next to your opponent. Does that mean there's no strong things you can do? No, because there's a lot of really messed up stuff you can do. You could call out Janet, and you could do a 2-1-4 low overhead mix with her, and it'll be safe on block the whole thing because she just lets you do that, which is incredibly strong. Of course, there's a lot of hard to blockable situations you can do. You can make yourself safe. You can use your uh, back forward four as a mobility tool so long as Janet Cage is pressuring them like so and Of course you can be at full screen like this with a portal up and you can send Janet over there To pressure them while you zone them and your chip damage just becomes insane So there's a lot of good stuff you can do 
The main problem is that it's really hard to do it. Quan Chi, in general, has to set up a lot of stuff already, just by himself. So having to go ahead and, you know, instead of doing a bone cage, go ahead and do this instead where you set up Janet and pray that your opponent does not do an armored reversal on wake up so he doesn't take out Janet while you do that, it just adds a lot more to the load that Quan Chi has when it comes to, you know, setups. So it's just really, really hard to do that because you're relying on forces that are completely out of your control. You're relying on your opponent not hitting Janet Cage as soon as you call her out. You're relying on your opponent, you know, not like blocking properly so that you can actually get a combo going. And you're also relying on yourself to have one good connection in the match because if you get a Wi-Fi opponent or like 200 ping, good luck piloting Janet and Quan Chi at the same time because that is basically impossible. And you're also relying on your own skills just to regularly pilot her, even without any sort of, you know, hiccups when it comes to uh, your ping. Just being able to control them both at the same time is very hard. So typically what I do is that I kind of play lame. I just call out Janet and I set up some hard to blockables with my stuff like this. And then if my opponent gets hit, they get hit. I'm going to show you some combos with her still. But most of them are just using her hop punch. Because I think hop punch is better for Quan Chi in particular. Because you do get that nice low tentacle becomes a natural launcher with it. But also, I it's just really, really difficult to set up Janet. And actually get into a combo situation. So that's going to be it for Quan Chi and Janet Cage. Very solid team, hard to use. Now I'm going to show you some combos, uh, some pretty good damage there, and some setups as well, and some block strings you can do. And that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Next character I have on the list is going to be Strikers. What can we do with Striker and Quan Chi? Because there is some stuff to explore there. So that's it. I'll see you in the next one.